Praise the Lord, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, amen. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. I have another blessed, fresh, holy, spirit filled work. Come, my Lord, save Jesus Christ, amen. Very powerful message. Once again, we must take heed to all these end time gospel messages coming from our Lord, save Jesus Christ, amen. Our eternal destination depends on it. Very powerful message on tonight. Um, Holy Spirit is really moving. Praise God for all of what He's doing. Like I said, we gotta pay, we gotta we gotta pay close attention to 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 who Christ is and what He's doing in our life. Don't focus on the attacks from the enemy because the enemy wants you to focus on that because he wants you to be in the pity party. Focus on Christ and how good He is to you. Focus on His joy, His peace, His His, his correction, His His long suffering, His patience, His forgiveness, His love. He's everything. Everything who He is. He's everything. His empowerment, His strength, His protection. Focus on that. Praise God. Be empowered. Be encouraged on today. Tonight, I'm going to say. Um, title message is this. Christ died to free us from walking in darkness. Christ died to free us from walking in darkness. And some people say, oh, well, um, I'm not walking in darkness. I love the Lord. I, 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 I go to church on Sunday. I speak in tongue. I preach God's word. I witness. I pay my tithes and offering. Um... I pray or read the word or whatever, whatever the case may be, I fast. But the whole point of the matter, if we don't have a heart of repentance towards our sin nature on the daily, looking to Christ, holding nothing back, we are walking in darkness because we can't see straight. I'm going to give you give me this right here. The Holy Spirit just gave it to me. We cannot see straight if we don't have um, um, the Holy Spirit um, guiding us. And if we don't have a heart of repentance towards our sin nature on the daily, looking to Christ, the Holy Spirit is not guiding us. We're, we're, we're operating on our, our, our flesh. We're, we're operating with our heart. And what, what the Bible says in Jeremiah um, 17, 9, it says the heart is desperately wicked, um, deceitful above all things. The heart is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. Who can know it? And the God, said, God says in verse 10, it says that I, I am the Lord. I try the reins. I know the heart um, to give every man according to his works or deeds. So, the whole point of the matter is we must understand that if, if we don't have a heart of repentance to our sinners on day, looking to Christ, we are walking in darkness. If we saying having sex outside of marriage is okay, we are walking in darkness. We are if we are okay in homosexuality, we are walking in darkness. We are okay in, if we are okay in unforgiveness in our heart, we are walking in darkness. If we are okay in materialism and a tradition of men in the church, Pharisaic um, way of thinking, we are walking in darkness. If we are okay in watching certain shows and listening to certain music and turning up and drinking and smoking and partying, worried about taking trips and all this other kind of stuff, we are walking in darkness. So we must understand Christ died to, to free us from walking in darkness. Just because we say we love the Lord or we know, know, know of Jesus Christ or, or, or been to church or go to church doesn't mean we're walking in, in, in the light that God ordained us to walk in. We, 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 we can't see straight without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Let's go to the Word. 1 Peter 2, 9-12. 1 Peter 2, 9-12. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, and peculiar people, meaning a purchased people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who hath called you out of what? Darkness. And to his what? Marvelous light. He called us out of darkness and to his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in their visitation. So, the whole point of the matter is the Bible tells us to abstain from fleshly lusts. It war, it, 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 that fleshly lusts war against our soul. Um, it, it holds us back from being in, in, in unbroken fellowship with God. So, Let's get this in our hearts, mind, and spirit, y'all. That Christ died to free us from walking in darkness. He, he, he died to set the captives free. He came for the lost. Um, so we all were lost before Christ entered our hearts. And, and, and if we um, think it's okay to operate contrary to God's will and His way and His word for our life, we are walking in darkness. We can't see straight. The only way we can see straight is through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And the way the Holy Spirit guides us is He corrects us. He's in power. He empowers us. He comforts us. He gives us the peace of God. He gives us the strength of God. He gives us the protection of God. He gives us the forgiveness. He 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 does everything. Who Christ is, who God is, He's everything wrapped in in in, in them. Praise God. And, and we cannot function. We can't. The Holy, the Holy Spirit cannot function 
if we are justifying our sins, if we are justifying things that's contrary to God's will and His ways for our life. God wants us to carry out His perfect will for our life. This is not about. This is not a message of perfection. This is a message of looking to Christ who is perfection. This is a message of total surrender. This is a message of being, um, um, putting on the humility of Christ, letting Him lead. This is a message of, of not of, of denying self, not being self righteous. You feel me? So we're not talking about church tradition. We're not talking about what they taught us in the church, which is very fair sitting growing up. They didn't teach us how to allow the Holy Spirit to lead. They told us how to be fleshly. They taught us how to be flesh driven. You know why? Because they they put they told us to put it on self instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us. Follow a set of rules instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to lead. And that's not what salvation in Christ is about. It's about allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us and trusting in Him because He, Christ, died to free us from walking in darkness. That's an awesome testimony right there. Praise God that He died to free us from that. Um, so we no longer have to be in bondage to it. We don't. We don't have to. We don't have to do what we see everybody else doing. We don't have to act like we how we see everybody else acting. We don't have to think how we see everybody else thinking according to this wicked world system. Because that's what the enemy wants. Because the Antichrist is on the rise. Christ's return is on the rise. And he wants us to stay focused on this wicked world system in the earth realm instead of looking to Christ with the heart of repentance toward us. And that's why I have all this chaos going on. Because he wants us to be distracted. See, a distracted people are defeated people. Ooh, that's good. Holy Spirit just gave me that. A distracted people are a defeated people. So if we are distracted by the things of this wicked world system, then we will be defeated. But if we are staying focused on Christ, not meaning we're perfect, not meaning we'll make a mistake. We're gonna fall short because we're human. I keep that one, I keep 100 all day, every day on that. But we that's not an excuse. Being human is not an excuse. It it, 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 it gives us, it reminds us that we can't do it on ourselves and we need Jesus. But it's not an excuse. So if we're distracted, we are defeated people. But if we're focused on Christ and Christ alone, not look at the self, not self-righteous, um, then and only then do we have victory because it's total victory in Christ. Christ died to free us from walking in darkness. Get this in your heart, hearts, mind, and spirit. Be encouraged on tonight. Be encouraged on tonight knowing that you had the victory in Christ. He said he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's an awesome testimony. We didn't have to do nothing for it. It doesn't come by, by, by works or anything. He, it's only by mercy and grace. Praise God. Remember, you're amazing in the sight of Christ. He loves you. He'll never leave you, never forsake you. I love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. Remember, Christ died to free us from walking in darkness. Please read 1 Peter 2, 9 through 12. Please read that. Um, focus on, on, on Christ on today. Focus on God, who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's, he's everything. We can't do nothing without him. Love you in Jesus.